back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815. Today, we are unboxing Amiibo! Well, today we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have got seven Amiibo here. Three from Wave 1, two from Wave 2. Mm. Makes sense. Two, Wave 2. Get it? I just hear a tumbleweed passing behind me. Because that terrible pun. And two from Wave 3. So, how about do you say we get to unboxing these? First of all, in Wave 1, we have got none other than Mr. Donkey Kong. Let's get him out of his box. I love these amigos, honestly. I just bought a whole bunch of them recently. So, I thought I'd do an unboxing video. That was quick. Let's have a look at Donkey Kong up close. So here he is, DK, the man himself. Or should we call him Donkey Kong Jr? As Cranky Kong was actually the original Donkey Kong. Unfortunately, I do not have Diddy Kong, which would go nicely alongside my Donkey Kong amiibo. But, you know. Up next, we have got Samus. And we are just going to literally rip through the packaging just straight away. I'm just going to strew it all over the floor and pick it up later. So, here is Samus in her full glory with her cannon. And I cannot wait to train up these amiibos. So, who we got for third in wave one? Kirby! Really extremely difficult I found to get over here in the UK. I have no idea why. Literally, I just walked into a game store and I managed to pick up Donkey Kong and Samus, but Kirby was extremely hard to get, and here is little pink puff ball himself. I presume Kirby's a boy, but I'm not sure. I was never sure about that. Don't know why. So, who we got next for Wave 2, you may ask? Well, everybody should know by now I love The Legend of Zelda. When I saw Legend of Zelda Amiibos, what do you think I did? Precisely. Yeah, I went out and got a Zelda Amiibo. Apart from, I got her off Amazon. Um, she was a little bit pricey, admittedly. It seems like a lot of people love Zelda. Princess Zelda, that is, the amiibo. Here she is, up close. This is the Twilight Princess um, version, or incarnation, if you will, of Zelda. Because in Smash Bros. history, it's, all, it's basically always been the Twilight Princess Zelda, Twilight Princess Link, Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Um, talking about Link, actually, three Amiibos that I never showed our unboxing video of was the three first ever Amiibos I got. And also, these are Wave 1, so maybe I should have showed you these as well, but never mind, here they are. Link, first of all, so... He'll go nice with Donkey Kong, Samus, Kirby. Another one that will go very nicely with them is the main man himself, Mario. And I do have somebody from Wave 2 to go along with him nicely, so I'm actually glad I showed you him as well. And also, last but not least, we have got Pikachu. So those are the ones that I did not unbox ever. So do not bother going through the whole history of my channel, or in this case, whenever I start a new sort of series, this is like, well, it's of course going to be called Amiibo Unboxing. So, I will make a playlist. But anyway, I said the second one I got in Wave 2 was going to go nicely with Mario. You might be thinking, Bowser? No, he's Wave 3, I'm afraid. Uh, Luigi is his name. And I absolutely love Luigi. Admittedly, I love Luigi more than Mario. Not just because I love Luigi Mansion games being, you know, the original for the GameCube. And 
the free DS, and I'll be back in a minute once I get the phone. Right, I got too late to the phone, so what was I uh, saying? Oh yeah, I love Luigi's Mansion. So, let's tear him out of his packaging. He is in his rocket pose, actually, which is one of his moves where he is on the ground and then he goes whoosh, across the screen and headbutts into other players. So, who we got for Wave 3? First of all, we have got Toon Link, who I absolutely l love. Back in a minute. Sorry about that, everybody. The phone seems to have people wanting to get in contact with me today. So, here is Toon Link. I don't know how I get these packagings open so fast, and my camera's near our power great. So, here is Toon Link, and this is the incarnation of Toon Link from. The Wind Waker, originally for the GameCube, also HD. I wish they would have an Amiibo function for him in Wind Waker HD. So Nintendo, if anybody knows Nintendo is listening right now, I want a feature including this guy in Wind Waker HD. So for our last Amiibo from Way Free, we've got Sheik. Who was not actually hard to find. The hardest one to find out of all of these was Princess Zelda and Kirby, honestly. Especially at prices that we have here in the UK on Amazon. So, uh, let's get Sheik out. Here is Sheik in a sort of sneaky ninja pose with her ponytail going outwards and I love this amiibo and I think this amiibo has some sort of um, playability in Hyrule Warriors I'm not sure which amiibo work with Hyrule Warriors apart from the regular Link amiibo I've tested him out on Hyrule Warriors unlocking um, the spinner you know the, the spinning top um, item from Twilight Princess, which was like used for one dungeon, mind you, the dungeon with one of the most epic bosses. That's a hint to top ten Ledger Zelda bosses. That's right, top tens are coming. I just feel like I was taken over by a ghost just then, revealing. Stuff that I was trying to keep secret. Mine, do you you know what it's like when ghosts possess you like a Moro? Get it? That's a that's another hint, by the way, <laughs> to something else coming. But anyway, that's all the amiibos I have time for today to unbox. But also, that's all the amiibos I actually bought. Future ones that I'm planning on getting, definitely Diddy Kong to go along with Donkey Kong, definitely Lucario to go along with Pikachu, definitely Bowser to go along with Mario and Luigi, and possibly Peach, maybe, not sure, um, definitely Ganondorf when he comes out, um, and Pit and Dark Pit from the video game series Kadikarus. I'm definitely trying to get, mind you, Ganondorf is going to be so hard to get. I've already seen he is really rare. But anyway, my camera's going to run out of power. That's all I have time for today. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, why have I got a TV remote in my hand? Now mind. So thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, and comment. And until next time. Stay golden, stay frosty, and bye-zies!